Hey gang, I'm in O'Fallon, Illinois. We're not too far from St. Louis. I just came from Violin Annie's grave, about an hour to the east, and we're in a graveyard here to pay respects to Michelle Leanne Morgan, who was a small child that was abused and killed by her mother many, many years ago. If you guys have a weak emotion, turn it off. Don't watch this. It's really a terrible story as we're going to walk to her grave. Another old cemetery here with some old stones that we will see on the way as I tell you the story. It's really a very sad story. I'm going to start right off and tell you that this four-year-old girl suffered from multiple injuries in the chest and the back, a broken nose, burns on her skin, broken arm, all before the age of four years old at the hands of this vicious stepmother. Her name was Mary Ray. R-A-E. This whole thing led to over and over the abuse, 20 visits to the hospital, which included one of those times she was hospitalized for, for over a month. And it was on August 9th of 1961 that Mary held Michelle underwater and was stomping on her violently with her shoes on just because she had believed that she had lied about something. Can you imagine? Can you imagine a woman or any person, man or woman, that could have that much anger and hate and that much of a monster that would that would do something like that well these actions by the way were seen by Michelle's older brother George and George was little too and they were all sitting at dinner and passing the food around and little Michelle wasn't right she just she was just sitting there looking down and all of a sudden she just threw up. But what she threw up was blood, curdled blood from the beatings or the beating that day. The next day, sadly, she died. Nobody helped her. She died of internal injuries. And there was an autopsy that was performed by the pathologist at Scott Air Force Base near where the Morgans lived. And Michelle's father, who was a U.S. Air Force Airman, it is where he was stationed. The cause of death was found to be massive trauma to the chest. And the autopsy did reveal really everything that was suspected. Well, that autopsy we're talking about that report was not completed, the report itself, until 15 years later. When the coroner then listed the cause of death as pneumonia. And, of course, the local prosecutor never, he never pursued the case. Now, I got to tell you something. Those people 
all the way up to the prosecutor, the coroner and all of them. I don't know what the, the motivation was, maybe an Air Force man not wanting him to get dishonorably discharged, I don't know. But those people have blood on their hands. And if they're alive today, you have blood on your hands. You are responsible for that little girl's death. It was about five years later in 1996 that George, her older brother, George Morgan, was serving time in prison for rape. And that year he decided to research his family genealogy. And he was surprised when he saw his sister's death certificate. He recalled, he recalled the circumstances surrounding her death. He remembered. He saw it all. And he knew it was not pneumonia and he couldn't live with himself he went to his jail cell and he thought about it and he thought about it and he also noticed the date on the report 1976 and he remembered it was 1961 that she died so he reached out to the county coroner, Rick Stone, and he disclosed to him how Michelle really died. And Stone, he did all the right things. He reopened the case, he had Michelle's body exhumed, and get this, after 30 years, it still showed the marks of a brutal child beating and abuse after 30 years. Investigators discovered the original autopsy report and Michelle's hospital record which showed all of those visits and thus George Morgan's her brother's claims were thus substantiated. What happened next? Well, they tracked her down. She was in West Columbia, Texas. And that was, she'd forgotten all about it. She was living her new life. And when they confronted her, she denied it all. What, what are you talking about? And then, right after, she tried to leave the country. She tried to flee. She tried to flee the country. Well, she was caught and she was placed under arrest. And after all the plea bargaining and all the stuff that goes on, you know the story, she ends up plea bargaining. She's not going to fight it. So she eventually pleaded guilty to involuntary manslaughter. And she was sentenced to five years in prison. And she was released. She was released back in 2001. Unbelievable. Unbelievable how our justice system works, guys. I say it time and time again. It's a joke. There's a lot of good judges. I'm not casting everyone the bad light, but it's it's unbelievable. And what's really unbelievable is that this Mary had raised four children. And get this, those children, those poor children, they were sent to the hospital going back over 150 times. Can you even imagine? That's like, where, where is the help? Where's the government, DCFS, whatever you want to call it? 
150 times. And that woman, she's walking around right now. She's, as far as I'm concerned, she got off. She got off pretty good. For this little baby is dead. And here she is. This is Michelle's grave, and the first thing I notice is no flowers. There's nothing here, guys. Look at this cemetery. Are you kidding me? There are there are flowers everywhere. There are flowers everywhere. But not for this girl. What's going on here, guys? O'Fallon? Come on, guys. Come on. Somebody come out here and give her flowers. If I would have known this, I would have brought some flowers. And I can't, I'm, I did the other story, it's already getting late and I gotta drive five hours home. I'm gonna get back at like 11 if I don't fall asleep, but I'll be fine. But Michelle Leanne Morgan, July 20th, 1957, August 11th, 1961. That's a long time ago, but I don't care how long ago it is. It's not long enough to not be remembered. Well, that's very sad. Well, we hope you're resting in peace, Michelle. After all that, at least your brother, your brother, your brother did the right thing. And I'm, I, we hope for all the trouble he's been through, we have to attribute that to the, uh, the mother. Also, the abuse, I'm sure he was heavily abused. Hopefully he's straightened out his life and doing well and healthy. So Michelle, rest in peace. And from O'Fallon, Illinois, Signing out, I'm going to head home, just sad. <laughs>